Galaxy Annihilation by the same guy who made this Borjo, and he called it the secret final boss. Galaxy Annihilation. Jesus Christ. It's like the first level I played this game on steroids. What is A13 doing? I feel like I have to tie him to the ball. And then we have to have this cross the freaking bridge. Build a bridge it can cross and then hit here. What? A13 is the weird one here. The rest of the vehicles will probably hit their flags if we just let it run. But A13 has got to hit its checkpoint turnaround thing here and then make it to its flag here. I don't know how that's supposed to happen. Well, actually, okay. No, it should happen pretty normally. It should just, at least to my knowledge, fall off the ball, naturally hit here, then turn around. So what I imagine is that this ball needs to cross the gap and not destroy the bridge, and A13 is proof or verification showing that the bridge isn't destroyed. That's how I see it in my head. So let's, uh, let's get building. We are gifted with a little pillar in the middle. Why am I sideways? It's for the final boss. The boss has tilted me sideways and I cannot save myself until I defeat it. All right, so let's do the, the awesome truss. Perfect. I'll do a muscle down here. I'll do some extra bracing to this area. I have 240,000, so how bad can it really be? And then I'll do something like this to here. Right, so we got the truss, we got the side stuff, we got the middle stuff. It's probably not gonna hold, but we have to hope. It's white. Oh god, this thing is huge! Look how long it takes to rotate! Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous to support. Holy crap! I don't even know if this is how this works. Probably not. I'm probably using the materials completely incorrectly here. Wait! No! Wait, this supports the thing, but the roads break! Oh, wait, you know what? That's good progress. That's really good progress, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have backup roads <laughs> in case the first ones destroy themselves. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll do a cable muscle here. But backup roads could be an idea. It shatters, huh? I mean, yeah, we're, we're about half budget, so I can afford to just muscle everything that breaks right now. If I continue to see stuff breaking, even after I get way too many muscles, I might reconsider. But you know what? That's pretty good progress, I think. All right, let's do muscles underneath then. The time has come. All right, but I braced this better. <gasps> Yo, we made it halfway. What broke? The thing in the middle, huh? I did not expect the very middle to break, but you know what? I think the remedy for that is just copy pasting the left side over to the right. Thing is, if the right side is taking more of the force, we won't need to have the middle support. No, it still smashes and it's the same piece that's smashing. So let me redo this. Let me just create a triple muscle like that. See, because the exit car is shoving it. I won't deny that's part of the problem, but I mean, we're not going to have the car just not shove it. Well, his horsepower is insane. I guess it does actually make it go faster. Then what if I try something to slow down the car like this, but have it be made out of spring? Like just to try to have the car take its sweet, sweet time. Yes. Oh God, we've stopped the ball. <laughs> Our springs are too powerful. Let's do dumb stuff with the springs then to try to make them longer like this. So it doesn't act accidentally latch onto the big ball. It latched onto the big ball again. I'll just I'll just give the springs some slack. That's all I'm doing. Slack on the springs. Oh damn. Alright, let's see if I can maybe just keep the weight on the vehicle. And then it still has to push over that, so now it takes longer. Oh, wait, it was just braking because it's heavy. It, the brake had absolutely nothing to do with the car. Well, that calls for more cable muscles then. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, well, I'm here all day. I'm going to keep muscling this. It might not seem like progress, but it is. We're starting to almost have a full muscle arch, by the way. Starting from here and arching its way to over here. But part of the muscle broke, which is never a good sign. Like, the thing is, we don't have access to stronger materials in this game. It would be kind of cool to play with a mod that had an even stronger material than steel. Actually, that's, that's something I'm kind of curious about. For anyone who 
does work with engineering of this sort, what what's a good example of a material that's stronger than steel? At compressive strength, specifically. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch, but off the top of my head, like, I don't know my materials. Diamond. I mean, I guess diamond, but you'll see people building bridges out of diamonds. Is concrete really better at co compressive strength? Like, I know it seems good. Now, I mean, I'm only based off this game. Technically, this game, concrete is less compressive strength than steel, but in real life? <gasps> that was so close. That was so close. So interesting, concrete's better in real life, but not as good in bridge game. I mean, I guess they didn't want to make, to, to make roads too OP. They definitely should decrease the uh, tensile strength of the road and increase the uh, compressive strength. I think that'd be really nice. I don't know if that's something they can actually manage though. To make it more similar to real life, because then they'd also shoot dangling roads in the foot. Uh, that's part of the reasons why I would love for that to happen. Road is asphalt. Your asphalt. I just think this isn't gonna quite be it. So here's what I need to do then. We trust the trusses. We'll just try something different, huh? This time I don't need the um, cable. I just need the steel. It can work pretty well, I think. <gasps> yeah, that's so close. Just a couple roads breaking. Wait, we almost got this. This might be easier than the uh, the p final boss. S a secret level. No, might be. Let's try to trust the trusses that trust the trusts. Let's go. Super trust. I know I probably should reinforce this as a triple muscle, but I'm hoping this just works. Oh, that's it. That's the bridge. We've done it, I think. We've done it. <laughs> We've been saved. Holy stress. Are you kidding me? 99.9% .9 they got to. That is absurd. All right. Well, this, this is a really cool looking level. What a sick vehicle. The pyramid meta. Honestly, I maybe could have just done that. I could have just done a giant pyramid. Hold on. Let me, let me see if that would have just worked hypothetically. Just taking all this away. I don't even need this. I'll leave these under supports. That's cool and all that. Let me let me just try something. We just make a big pyramid. I don't know how high it'll have to go. Pretty high, I bet. Oh no, we're over budget. Anyways, that's true. Pyramids are triangles. I mean, this is the granddaddy of all triangles, isn't it? This is the super triangle. 16% stress. That's pretty low. Huh. Oh god. Wait, it's just the roads that broke. Yo, everything besides the roads are doing good. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not bad. I don't know what happened to the car over here. That was pretty weird. Oh god. No! <laughs> no, my beautiful pyramid! No! <laughs> Fuck. I'm curious if I can get this to work. Let's brace these with steel. It's actually this that broke. So, you know what? Mmm, does this help though? I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It doesn't. Alright, steel muscle time. We're gonna muscle the pyramid and see what happens. Got an entire pyramid built out of muscles. Good god. Yo! No! <laughs> okay, a little better. Making some sweet progress. Oh, so close. Yeah, I, I can see the pyramid working. Do not worry. Just a tad over budget. Yeah, but who's gonna stop us? We got a freaking pyramid. All right, so we got it with the brakes, Han. Let's let's try to get the pyramid going without brakes, and then I'll be happy. If it's just this piece, it should be easy enough. Honestly, when you're powerful enough to construct a pyramid like this, I don't think you can be stopped. There is no force on earth that can get in your way. So close. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna make both of these muscles. Let's just get it out of the way. Nice. <laughs> A beautiful pyramid. Love to see it. I'm gonna save this one because it's not gonna be auto saved. It was even less stress, 96% stress. Let's see how cheap people got this. That's what I'm curious about. 180,000? Wait, is my budget design cheaper than this? 
There's a cool setup. I, I like how that, I kind of like how the bottom looks. This looks kind of cool. I like the super muscled arches. Oh, let me, let me dig up my budget design after this. Or just right now, rather. 189,000 was how much this cost. So I wonder if I can get this below 180,000. That's what I'm curious about. Do I need this piece at all? I wonder then if I even need this piece and that piece. Then maybe this can go back to being a regular muscle. All right, that's cheaper. Let's run it. No, right, that's fine. We're over again. I think this can go back to being regular. I want to get number one on this level. This level's cool. No. Ooh, that's a bad break. Maybe I can get rid of that. Like maybe those cables on the outside are just doing nothing but making things difficult. So close. Why is the road breaking? I don't know what to do about that. It seems like there's kind of bad butterfly effect, so maybe I want to shave first and then reinforce. So if roads break, I can just go like this. Embrace this and then what the hell happened on the side? It was so close. Oh, there we go. Count it. New cheapest design. Even less stress, 99.8, shaving that stress. So yeah, that's it for this campaign. This campaign was a lot of fun. Every single level, almost every single level was a fantastic time. There were a couple of levels in the middle that I didn't include in the video that I thought were just all right. And the Mad King challenge was just not for me, but outside of that, very creative, a very enjoyable time with these levels. I had a great time with this campaign. I'll be keeping my eye out for more interestingly interesting seeming custom levels and campaigns in the future. If you would like me to take a crack at your level, I think your best odds are to get community support behind it. Have other people in the Polybridge community or my own community play test your level. Um, you know, give feedback, give tips, uh, see if it's fun stuff, and if it's peer reviewed by a lot of people and enjoyable enough, and if it looks cool, I'll play it. So a lot more in store for Polybridge custom levels. Hope you guys are excited.